it is. This is the act of putting something ahead of another, meaning that you value something more than the other. My name is Stephen Omondi. Many people call me Steve Omondex or Professor Steve Omondex or Pastor Steve Omondex. Whichever it is, I am honored by God to be a blessing. Join me on this journey as we learn, get to know more about what it means to have priority. The Bible is a book full of metaphors and examples that help people in life to achieve their God-given goals. But I do realize that everything that you will ever achieve in your life is dependent on your priorities. I look in the Bible and there are two scriptures that really, really speak to my heart about how God has fashioned everything that he created. Number one, if I look at the book of Luke, chapter 26, verse number 40, Jesus comes down the mountain from the place of prayer and he meets the disciples and tells them, couldn't you even pray just for one hour? Because he found them sleeping when they were supposed to be praying. In the book of Matthew, chapter number 26, verse number 40, Jesus comes down the mountain from prayer and he finds the disciples, Peter, John, and James, asleep. And he tells them a simple, uh, asks them a simple question. Could you pray even for just one hour? And why was saying that? So that they could not enter into temptation. But when we look on the flip side in the book of Luke chapter 5, verse number 5, uh, the Bible says that the disciples told Jesus, we have toiled all night and we didn't catch anything. When I look at these two scriptures, it brings me to a place of realizing that priorities matter in life. The same disciples who are complaining that they got nothing the whole night could not spend a whole night praying. Take note, they were both with Jesus, they were available for Jesus, they were walking with Jesus, but they could not have a discipline of prayer. So what matters to them, it was the compass that mattered more than their own lives. I want to challenge somebody that you need to understand that God has put you into a place of getting that which belongs to you. There is somebody watching me whom God has called in the marketplace. You're supposed to make moves in the marketplace. Somebody else is supposed to be making moves in the ministry of right? Whichever area God has called you into, you need to prioritize what matters the most. Jesus told them, pray first, so that you may not enter into temptations. No wonder, when they went out to fish, they caught nothing. But at the word of Jesus, they caught everything they needed until their legs were breaking. And they called their partners to come and help them. Young people and all alike, if you happen to stumble upon this teaching, I want you to know that you will never achieve great success if you don't know how to prioritize what matters. And if what matters does not matter, there will come a time when what doesn't matter will matter. I'm still